Ladies and gentlemen. The first officer approaches the driver. Gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gents. A seven-year-old. Sorry. Voice recognition was still on. Jasper. A seven-year-old young man was shot and killed in Jacksonville. This idiot, and I'm going to call him that. I think you all have. Let me make sure. No, this is the wrong one. This is not this one. That He's not the idiot. <laughs> oh, God, no, not that one. There are a lot of idiots out there, but I'm looking for Mike. I'm looking for Mike. Okay. His name is Mike something. Uh, he is, nope, this ain't even, this is Chief Tom Heckey press conference. Oh, so this is a different, give me one second. We have to, I have to go back to the, this is an ABC News flash, but this is the wrong one. Let's see if they're going to give me the right one. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to see if this is the same one. The first officer. No, this is not the same guy. Okay. This is not the same guy. I'm looking at on my cell phone. His name is, oh, he's a sheriff. So the one I'm looking at is from the sheriff. And so let's do this. I'll make it better on us and them. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I'm looking for the one with the sheriff. And police involved shooting. No, see, that's, he's explaining that one. They're explaining a police involved shooting, but that's not what I'm upset about. Sorry. And when I say I'm upset, I mean upset. Not downset, not offset, but upset. Okay. We are going to, let's, let's use Bing. I don't want to use Bing, but it didn't give me my, um, this is the interview. This is the second interview. But I'm looking for the one with the police chief. This is ABC News. The other one is on ABC News as well. So I'm going to click on the ABC News link and see if it will bring me to the video that I'm watching on my cell phone because I want you all to hear and I'm sorry that a seven-year-old is shot okay that should never happen on this planet uh, at approximately 9 13 this evening Let's stop that part right there I don't want this interview because this is the second interview I haven't seen this one yet I'm looking for the one where the actual conference is and that's not here and it is on abc news so let's see if there is another way to find it uh okay we have to do a different search that's the problem it's the the way the title is so we'll go here and this was an update to the news today. And so I'm just looking to see if it says anything in the first set of stories, and it does not. See if it'll scroll down. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is me trying to let you all see what I see. Okay, ain't no little drummer boy here. This is wanting to make sure that when I talk about something, I am letting you see why I'm talking about it. So it's not here in these stories here. Nobody wants to see all that junk. We're going to start with those teenage students calling for change after that school shooting, rallying all weekend, and now promising a march on Washington for gun control. A lot more. But as I told you, look at the crowd. You're going to find that there are a lot of people in this crowd ain't got nothing to do with Florida. Don't live in Florida, ain't never lived in Florida. Don't live in that area. Don't care about nothing about nobody shooting, no boys, no kids, no girls, no adults, no football players, no football coaches. They don't care nothing about that. This is all for show. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the name, the exact name. Seven-year-old killed in crossfire is fifth shot in Jacksonville in two weeks.
It didn't put in a name exactly, so I had to correct it. You couldn't see it because it was behind that. Let's move that over there for now. Well, we can't exactly move it over there because that's our window. That's where we need to see what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, as I told you before the year even started, this is what they were going to do. You see this right here, ABC News? This is this one actually takes us to the video, so I'm hoping it will take me directly to this video because I want to show you. I want you to listen to this stupid individual. Yes, I'm calling him stupid. As racist as he could possibly be, this is the idiot right here, and that's why I talked about Mike Williams Shura. This is the idiot. At, at thir it, it occurred at 1347 Mount Herman Street. Uh, just the first thing he's going to do is mention that these were black people. Then he's going to mention that they had prior records. You know, not records as in hit records, not records as in broken so many of those Olympic records. No, 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 that they had prior criminal records. Then he's going to mention that they were smoking marijuana. Pay attention. He has to do that because he has to justify his stupidity on how they treat different classes of people. Now, pay attention. You're going to hear about this seven-year-old being shot and killed and nothing about what these guys were doing while somebody was driving by and doing a drive-by shooting had anything to do with why this seven-year-old was shot and killed. Somebody was doing a drive-by shooting. They weren't doing a drive-by shooting because the individuals had prior criminal records or that they were smoking marijuana. They had nothing to do with them smoking marijuana. Oh, and by the way, he said that an individual fled the scene and went to the hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, the individual didn't flee the scene. He went to the hospital, but he's going to say he fled the scene. Interesting. Then he's going to say that he was later arrested for an outstanding warrant. The individual who they claim fled the scene, whom they ended up talking to, they got mad because he would not snitch. Now, I'm not saying whether a person should have told if they knew anything. That's not my job. That's not the reason for my not being happy with how this so-called press conference is conducted. But, oh, look at that. A little bit, but no color. And he's standing up here. Let's pay attention. Let's let's listen to him and see what he says. Just after nine o'clock last night, uh, there was a shooting incident at that location. We had two victims at that location. One was Tayshawn Gallons, who's a seven-year-old uh, black male. Uh, who's a seven-year-old black male. Why? Why did his skin color have anything to do with the reason he was being shot or the reason for this conference? Tayshawn was shot at the scene and died subsequently at UF Health last night. Wait a minute. Go, you guys go and watch TV. When there is a little boy getting shot, little girl getting shot, and they're not black, notice how they don't announce what skin color they are. Sorry, this is the sheriff. This is the sheriff of Jacksonville. This right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've already told you. You've already heard me say a hundred thousand times. I don't care what the a race a person is. I don't care. I don't care how colorful their skin may be. But this moron right here. Watch and see how many times he announces the color of the individuals. Uh, there was a second victim by the name of Dominic Holcomb, who's a 23-year-old black male, um, who also was at, went to the hospital last night. I'll talk about no. him more in just a second. Uh, but here's what we know at this point. So last night, a group of people were, were in the front yard uh, drinking and smoking marijuana. Uh, at 1347 oh, Mount Herman Street, they were drinking uh, the, the accounts are that a, a, a small marijuana. to medium sized. Hold on. Remember, a group of individuals were drinking and smoking marijuana. 
Pay attention. Drinking and smoking marijuana. Now, how can you drink marijuana? They have that in liquid form now? No, just want you all to pay attention to what he's trying to do here. You see, when they don't find the killer, when they don't put forth as much effort, it'll be because of the skin color. Hold on, let's continue. Gray SUV stopped in front of the residence and someone from inside that SUV began firing into the yard. So at the point in time that the firing began, there were about six people in the yard, including Tayshawn. Uh, those people in the yard included multiple convicted felons, a convicted drug dealer, and one person with active gang affiliation. Hold on. Just after nine o'clock. Hold on. We'll, we'll get back to what he was saying in a minute. Convicted felons, convicted felons, convicted felons, convicted felons. Excuse me. Let me ask you a question. Why is he doing that? This is about a seven-year-old being shot in a drive-by. It had nothing to do with those individuals being convicted felons. Yeah, it could have had something to do with those individuals being congregated together. It could have had something to do with them being gang, quote-unquote, affiliated. But he didn't bring this up. He's not talking about gang affiliation. He's talking about convicted felons because he wants to say that these convicted felons were around each other and some of them were on probation. That's what he wants to say, to get them for probation violation. See, he wants to retaliate against them because they're not cooperating with him. But let's let's go on. Front yard, uh, drinking and smoking marijuana uh, at 1347 Mount Herman Street. Uh, the, the accounts are that a, gray, uh, a small to medium sized gray SUV stopped in front of the residence and someone from inside that SUV began firing into the yard. So at the point in time that the firing began, there were about six people in the yard, including Tayshawn. Okay, so now we're talking about the drive-by because we got to understand the perpetrators here were in a gray SUV. He's not talking about that. He's talking about smoking marijuana, convicted felon, convicted felon, convicted felon. He's now going to start talking about Tayshawn. Uh, those people in the yard included multiple convicted felons, a convicted drug dealer, and one person. Do you see this? Pay attention. The reason why Tayshawn was shot is because of the convicted felons, convicted drug dealer. Yeah, the convicted felons and convicted drug dealers must have shot Tayshawn. Okay, crime solved. No more investigation necessary. With active gang affiliation. One of the witnesses who was in the yard stated that he grabbed a gun that was close by to begin to return fire at the vehicle. So we believe that multiple people uh, were firing from multiple directions in this incident. And then based on the evidence at the scene, we believe that Tayshawn was between the two parties uh, that were shooting at each other. So Tayshawn is the nephew of one of the uh, uh, people that we interviewed at the scene and lives at that uh, location. So Dominic Holcomb, who I mentioned earlier, is a 23-year-old black male. He fled the scene after the shooting. Uh, he made his way to... Wait, wait. He fled the scene. Pay attention. He fled the scene. Excuse me? Who was he running from? Did he commit a crime? Was he the one who did the drive-by? He fled the scene. Oh, by the way, he's a 23-year-old convicted felon. A black male. Interesting, ain't it? And they're there. Serve, protect. Interesting. Let's continue if we don't. To, to UF Health where he was treated uh, and released. So we interviewed uh, Dominique. Hold on. He was treated and released from the hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, you go to the hospital with a gunshot wound. They automatically reported to the police. So who released him? He doesn't get to walk away from the hospital. The police come and interview him while he's there. He was treated and released. Then they interviewed him. Let's continue. After the shooting, he was not cooperative with the investigation. He was subsequently arrested for... Because he didn't cooperate with the investigation. You see, he just told you. 
he was not cooperative with the investigation based on whose definition. But hold on, he was subsequently arrested. Why was he arrested? Because you guys were treating him like he was a criminal, like he was a black male. Hold on. Possession of firearm by convicted felon, uh, an outstanding warrant uh, that he had in the system, and he's currently in custody. Uh, there are multiple witnesses uh, that are not cooperating with this investigation, uh, and obviously we need their cooperation uh, to bring some justice to this case. You see, they can't find a killer unless they find some cooperation. So he wants to make sure that he lets the entire world know that the black community doesn't cooperate with the police. He wants to make sure that the entire world knows that the only black kids that get shot are those who are convicted felons, drug dealers, but he doesn't say anything about Tishan being a convicted felon, a drug dealer, uh, that he was smoking marijuana or drinking alcohol or drinking marijuana and alcohol or alcohol and marijuana. He doesn't say anything like that, does he? Um, it's important to note that uh, it, if at any time we determine that any of these individuals are interfering with this investigation are giving us false information that we will pursue charges against those individuals as well. You guys, you see, that's all he's doing is making threats. He doesn't even realize that by him trying to cover his words that he is showing his culture, his uh, intent, his so-called demeanor, his so-called racist attitude. Again, listen to the stories. You guys hear them. Yes, I'm going to start a dialogue. Why? I don't care about race, but it's got to stop, people. We hear it all the time. These idiots keep doing it. You look at him. He's not too happy. Look at him. He is not happy. He has even got his head down because this one, he's a, he's a nose kisser. Look at him. He's got his posture and everything. He's standing up here because somebody made him stand up here. Okay. Let's let him finish. Now, so we have a lot of work left to do. So we are leveraging NIBIN technology. Uh, we're leveraging, leveraging DNA. And of course, we got some pretty valuable intelligence from our shot spotter system uh, last night that we're following up on. Uh, but, but here's what I know right now. So there is someone on the street today that is responsible for the shooting death of a seven-year-old little boy. And I can promise you that we are going to move. Wait a minute. He just gave a news conference just right there. There's seven, someone on the streets today who is responsible for the death of a seven-year-old little boy. He did not say black boy. Did you hear? He purposely didn't say black boy this time, but every other time, it's been black boy, black male. Why would somebody want to blackmail someone? Heaven and earth and kicking a few doors until we bring that person to justice. We've got a lot of work to do in that area. but we're Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to kick in a few doors in a black neighborhood. That's what they normally do. You don't see them kicking in a few doors in a white neighborhood. Well, they're not, they're not stopping white neighborhoods. <laughs> Aren't you so prejudiced? Hold on. We continue working on it. We've been working since last night. Uh, that, that investigation has not stopped since it began, since we started the scene. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 u
much. We've got a lot of work to do in that area, but we're going to continue to work on it. We've been working since last night. Uh, that, that investigation has not stopped since it began, since we started the scene. See, did you see that? This is his frustration. This is his anger. This is Okay, that was his attitude during that news conference. I saw that attitude from the beginning of the conference. I just saw that at the end. You see that flipping of the page? Because somebody didn't do what he said, he's pissed off. This has nothing to do with a seven-year-old. He doesn't care about Tayshaun, people. He doesn't care about that. He cares only about the fact that people won't do what he say and they won't answer his questions the way he wants them answered because he has a little bit of authority and this is happening in every city that they allow people like that to be in charge i'll i'll tell you guys the truth so that you get it i go out of my way to make sure that anything that i have something to deal with that i don't let that happen I got a call coming in, I have to take it. That's Maxwell, Symphony Unknown. So I got to take this so you guys have a good day.